Let's talk about home warranties. Are they good? Are they bad? Should you get one? What's right for you? That's today's frequently asked question. So let's start with what is a home warranty anyways? Think of it basically like an insurance policy. Now you got your regular homeowner's insurance, which will cover uh, the major things that could happen if there was a fire or something. Um, home warranties are generally for the smaller claim items that you wouldn't want to file uh, a claim on your homeowner's insurance for, um, but could still help you uh, to make those repairs if you had a home warranty in place. So uh, it's like an insurance policy. It typically covers things uh, like uh, some aspects of the appliances, mechanicals, plumbing, electrical, uh, some aspects of those things. There are obviously limitations to what they will cover and there is usually a deductible like most insurances. So uh, a typical policy I see might be around $500 or so roughly, uh, depending on the company and the policy that you get somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, and then they have a deductible, $50, $100, somewhere in there. Um, so generally cheaper for the policy and cheaper for the deductible. Uh, but they don't cover the same extent as your homeowner's insurance would. So uh, that's kind of just an overview of, of uh, home warranties. Now how to know if you should get one. Here's a few things that you can keep in mind. Uh, first of all, obvious question is do you have the extra $500 or so for your closing costs? You've already got your down payment and all the rest of it. In order to purchase a home warranty, it's generally paid at the closing table. And uh, so you just need to be ready and able to have that additional funds to close. The second thing is, what are your goals for the home and what's the condition of the home like? Uh, if you're looking to buy a fixer upper and you're gonna be renovating everything inside of it anyways, it might just be a waste of money to buy a home warranty. Um, it will only cover the aspects of the home that were working when you purchased it and that stopped working, okay? So, uh, Again, if it's working, but you're gonna replace it right away anyhow, and you're gonna get all new appliances, and you're gonna renovate the thing top to bottom, it may not be worthwhile, because then you'd have all new stuff. Um, or on the flip side, if you're buying a brand new home, probably don't need a home warranty, because everything's new, and most of it's gonna have a warranty anyways. Um, you know, or a home that's been recently remodeled, might not necessarily be uh, a good fit for you. Um, the second thing is, let, or excuse me, third, let's talk about uh, what's your cash position going to be like once you get into the home. So if you uh, have enough money to get into the home, but man, things are going to be tight and you kind of stretch the budget in order to get into the home, then a home warranty might be good because then if the furnace goes out, they might cover a lot of the expenses and that'll reduce your risk later on. That's what insurance is, is basically just offsetting your risk. So uh, if you're gonna be tight on cash later, it might be worthwhile to spend more money up front uh, to offset some of that risk. Typically, home warranties are good for one year. They can be extended usually for an additional cost. Um, so that might bridge the gap a little bit of getting into the home, spending a lot of money to get into it. That'll uh, you know, alleviate some of that risk for you down the road. Um, or on the flip side, if you didn't stretch yourself, uh, you know, your monthly budget's not gonna be that tight, and you've got plenty of cash, then you might just wanna assume the risk on your own, um, hopefully saving that 500 bucks and just taking on the risk of having to replace uh, the stove if it goes out or something like that down the road. Um, again, the age of the appliances, the age of the mechanicals, how well the home seems to have been maintained prior is also gonna weigh in on your decision relative to your cash position. Do you need to offset that risk or would you like to save the money up front? There's some pros and there's cons to both. So if you'd like more specific advice, hopefully that gives you a good idea, uh, but feel free to get in touch and I'd love to answer your questions more specifically or to get actual exact prices on what policies cost in your area. Uh, just you know, look online and you can find different home warranty companies that can give you more specific advice. So thanks so much. If you want more videos like this, visit joecarmack.com and let's get in touch today. Thanks so much.